Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Gemini, let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. The Moon, crossing that, we have a King of Cups, can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, somebody who may well be connected to your heart in some way or have the potential to be connected to your heart. We have the Eight of Cups above that, crowning that. Beneath that we have the Hierophant. Immediate past we have the Knight of Cups, yep. Yeah. Immediate future, we have the Three of Cups. Bottom two cards, we have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's... It feels here this is about, uh, well, let's pull some cards. I mean, you, you could you could see this in terms of love romance. I feel it's a love romantic thing here. But for others of you, it could also apply, the same message could apply to other areas, for example, money areas too. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Gemini? Message for Gemini. We have number 26, plain. A journey is indicated, either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Let's see what we have for you, Gemini. As an angel message, what do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Message for Gemini for the week ahead. What do we have for Gemini? Oh, I've got a few. <laughs> so we have number 11, signs from your deceased loved ones. Your departed loved ones are giving you signs. So to let you know they are with you, you could get some significant signs this week. You'll know. This is just be aware and you'll know. Divine perception number five. The angels are directing you to perceive the situation from a higher state of consciousness. Intuitive energy. Clarity, number four. Your angels are helping you see the situation in a clearer way. Comfort, number 19. The angels are comforting you during your time of need. The Knight of Cups is an offer. It's an offer from the heart in some way. This feels uh, there's an opportunity here to move forward here in a positive way. It feels in terms of love, romance, relationships here. Or there's a desire to. This is the immediate past. And the King of Cups is likely making that kind of offer. It feels like it's time, Gemini. I mean, this feels like it's time to take action. You know, it's interesting when that plain energy came out, uh, certainly when I saw the Eight of Cups, which is crowning this, there's a kind of fear here that someone's about to take off. I mean, this is what I'm seeing. That could be you. That could be the other person. I mean, we can all manifest as court cards in general readings. But this is about deep down, it's time to offer something. The King of Cups is, is connected to our emotions and feelings. Uh, you know, uh, or somebody who is connected to their emotions and feelings. And intuitively knows it's time. Because there's, there's fear. 
there's a real fear, there's uncertainty, there's doubt. If they don't do something, if they don't offer something, that you're going to walk away, go in search of something better. You're about to take off. So this is about moving forward in a way that you want to. Now, the Hierophant can be linked to long-term committed relationships, marriage. It can be very positive on that respect. So this can be about deepening a relationship, a commitment. That could well be to do with buying a home, moving in together, having children, adoption, um, marriage. All of those kind of things will be at play. It's really the next traditional step. But for a lot of you, it can also be about moving forward in faith that the time is right to make some kind of offer or else another person is going to walk away. I mean, the additional message with this here, Gemini, is if something has happened here that also affects a relationship and you have an opportunity to walk away from somewhere, you could be walking away also if it's not the relationship itself, you could be walking away from uh, a job and you have an opportunity to go to get a new job, but that might involve moving or relocating. So again, the same message applies. It could well be you want to, you know, go and stay with parents or, or, or move or relocate near a parent because, I mean, some, you know, three of cups can be linked with a community, it can be family, you know. So this, this can be the energy here where you might need to go and do something or leave because circumstances demand that and you're decided on that path and there's a fear or doubt or uncertainty again with the other, another person that they're going to lose you so they have to decide whether to go with you or not I mean the whole energy is 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 about that so there are layers to this but it's the same kind of message the three of 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 cups it feels here Gemini this is celebration. This is coming together in unity, celebration. It would be a great card of, yeah, let's do it. Let's go for it. It can also be celebratory uh, announcements. Uh, there's a real kind of cohesive energy with the Three of Cups. So uh, coming together in celebration, joy, happiness, uh, whether it's about the relationship itself in deepening that commitment or it's to do with other factors. But either way, I feel this person is with you, you know, and that's the energy here. Now, because it's time to let go of something that has been, uh, it, yeah, this feels like putting to bed old ghosts. This feels like putting to bed the past, all the reasons not to do something, even the past influence in the present in some way is about letting go of all the reasons why not to do something and because it's in their own best interest now to, to move forward with you. I mean, this feels that kind of energy here. It, it feels that this person is, is realizing they have to act strategically in some way. And that involves letting go of all the reasons not to. For some of you, they could have past history, past experiences that have made them fearful about marriage, that have made them fearful about commitment that have made them fearful about commitment or stepping up to the plate, even if other factors are influential here. Because this feels like this is about a defining where a relationship's heading. And this just feels the time is now. I think that this person is stepping up to the plate here. And I definitely see that that's giving you a degree of comfort here, Gemini, uh, because they're letting go of all the reasons not to do something and moving forward with you because they know deep down it's time. And it's the right thing to do. And Gemini, if the shoe's on the other foot and this is you, uh, fearful that someone is walking away or leaving for whatever reason, then the message is, well, what does this person mean to you? And it's the time is now to decide here in terms of and I think there's going to be a strong energy in terms of whether you make some kind of offer to commit to a relationship or commit to a path in terms of you know uh, going with somebody somewhere I mean it's the same kind of energy but either way it's going to define the relationship and it would be choose from the heart if this person means something to you 
then move forward with them. There's a lot of happiness and celebration to be had. Even if it means letting go of all the reasons not to, again, the past being in the present in some way, is the same kind of energy. This is about the time is now. Either you step up to the play and make some kind of offer to move forward with them, or the likelihood is that they're going to they're gonna walk away anyway. Uh, but there's an opportunity here for a lot of happiness, joy, and celebration. So it depends on what this relationship means to you ultimately. But likely the time is now to make the offer, speak your heart, you know, this is what's at play here. And also don't let things, all the reasons not to, stand in the way of greater happiness and fulfillment will be the energy. All right, what do we have for Gemini? Yeah, we have self-sabotage. And I feel this is either you or somebody that you're dealing with. Again, King of Cups can be a person, like I said, can be a water sign or someone who is manifesting as somebody who is connected to your heart in some way. We have when you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. This is your message from spirit. And the second one, we have love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. I just want to say, because that card came out, signs from your people from the other side, We've got hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. Gemini, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.